Hey guys, The Ride Designs here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a glitch effect in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I'm using CC14, but you can use uh, whatever other version. I think, believe CS6, CC2015, CC uh, and CC, just regular CC. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to make this uh, quick and simple effect that you can use uh, in your designs or whatever. So first off, obviously have Photoshop open, and then just drag your image in, or you can obviously file new, make a new uh, document. But I'm not going to do that. So let's get right into it. So first thing, um, Control Command J your layer, um, and it should make a new copy of the layer. So uh, we always want to keep this background layer uh, there, just in case we mess up. But we're probably not gonna. So. Um, Control Command J again, so as your second copy, and then uh, the basis of the RJB split 3D effect is removing colors off a picture. So uh, if you double click the image, and uh, you'll see the layer styles option will come up, and and the first thing you should see by default is the the blending options. So if we go here to channels, and you take the green out nothing happens because we have the un the first copy underneath but if we um, let's say uh, control command T the set the copy the second copy and we move it up bam oops uh, turn down the opacity a bit but bam you have your cool 3d like effect uh, so you can see like the purple and the green you can also play around with the different channels so if we put it back on green it's uh, it's gonna go back to normal but if you take the red out it can get like a cool red and blue effect so if you uh, take out the, the blue you can get the uh, blue and yellow effect that's all up to you however you, you want it I personally like this uh, red and cyan and uh, green and uh, magenta but I'm gonna go with the red and cyan effect and again you can uh, keep like moving it up or down whatever you want uh, that's a little bit too much uh, I think this is pretty cool so far and then if you want to go like even like further in terms of like uh, making like a glitch effect um, you can also like uh, distort the image so we're gonna get our rectangle marquee tool and then we're gonna select the little piece of him and then we're gonna shift and click uh, somewhere else and then we're gonna make we're gonna like click another piece and click another piece, another piece, another piece. We could, you could also vary like how big uh, the the squares or rectangles are and how big like, you want to take the chunks out, stuff like that. So I think that's good enough. And then you're gonna go click here and select your mask tool. It looks like a square with a circle in the middle. And um, right now, like you can see only parts of them. But if we, uh, if you choose the black and white uh, mask layer here, and you press Control I or Control Command I, as you can see, like it's kind of cut off. Like uh, we're getting some more glitch effects right here. Uh, how like everything else in the background is like 3D, but like this part right here isn't. This part isn't. This part isn't. Uh, up here isn't. Stuff like that. Um, we could also like go above and beyond about uh, more on that like this can add more obviously add a lot more you can you can go crazy with it but uh, for all, pur all uh, purposes in this video I'm gonna select my brush tool um, and since we have the selected make sure you're on your mask layer uh, and then um, paint with white no black yeah paint it with black and you and then uh, they'll select the areas and then you have a more 3D cool split effect and if we turn this off you can see the difference right here and that's pretty much it I want to make this tutorial short and sweet uh, because there's a lot of tutorials that go like super advanced with it but I want to go with the basics of this you can also move it again uh, you can also move it left right down up no, you can, again go crazy with it this goes with your imagination and that's pretty much it um hopefully i got through enough basics um 
of this effect. There's also some third party plugins that do this like uh, magic bullet looks but I won't go into detail on that. Um, it's just teaching you how to do this with layer styles. And that's pretty much it. Again you could like do like this too. This looks pretty cool. So again, go crazy with it. Um, this has been the Rad Designs. Hopefully you put some good use into this tutorial and make something really cool. Tweet at me at the Rad Design or uh, tag me in Facebook, uh, Facebook slash the Rad Designs. Follow me on YouTube, just whatever. Show me what you created through this tutorial if you did something with it in the first place. So thank you all. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.